one third of the ninth graders in high school today won't graduate. They will join a population of more than six million high school dropouts in our communities. Nearly half of these dropouts come from just 12% of the nation's high schools. At the same time, a third of today's ninth graders who complete high school won't be college or career ready upon graduation. Plain and simple, the status quo is not acceptable. We cannot continue to do in America what we've been doing to students for the last 20, 30, 50 years. The world has changed and we need a different system. We have an achievement gap that remains unsettled and um, we need to figure out ways to solve that if we are going to succeed as a, as a country. These kids are growing up in a society that is changing so fast, but we need to change with them. We need to shift that box. We need to, to, to open it up and be willing to say, you know what, there's, there's better ways to do business. Folks like us, people that have worked in public ed for 30 something years believe that uh, it can be done through other ways and uh, they need to allow us to make decisions at the local level. We have to explain to the communities that this is a paradigm shift, that the schools aren't terrible, but they significantly need to change. It's not just those extremely high poverty schools that we need to focus on. We need to help our high poverty kids and our underachieving kids in every school. The NEA's Priority School Campaign is critical for the 3.2 million members. If we can't fulfill that promise of helping all students have a great public school, I'm not sure who else can. Lower performing schools are priority schools for NEA. By leading permanent changes in these priority schools, we will transform the lives of tens of thousands of students by significantly raising academic achievement. Too many students in high poverty communities are in chronically underfunded, understaffed, and unsupported schools. We can't ignore the fact that too often schools with the greatest needs are staffed with inexperienced teachers and left with limited resources. This is unacceptable. In many classrooms, the teachers aren't able to get to the teaching because they're dealing with the other kinds of um, issues. They're dealing with health issues or social issues or, you know, hunger issues. Educating kids is paramount for competing in a global economy and having a sound democracy. With $3.5 billion in school improvement grants at stake, the Obama administration is proposing dramatic change in the nation's 5,000 lowest performing schools. To receive funding, schools must adopt one of four major restructuring models. Close the school and send students to other schools. Restart the school by turning it over to a charter or education management organization. Replace at least half the school staff. Transform the school with a variety of specific changes in policy and practice. To get more information, check out the web at nea.org slash priority schools. We don't agree with all their ideas, but they've set achievable goals and backed them up with real resources. Our role is very clear, and so is our responsibility. Regardless of the condition, regardless of all of the things around us, how do you choose to respond? It is a core value of ours to understand the power of collective action. When you have more than one person doing something, you've got power. Think outside the box of your classroom. Can your grade level, your department, uh, your school, your campus come together and say, here's what we're going to try, here's what we're going to do. Public education works. I'm a product of public education. I teach in the high school that I attended and it shows our progress, it shows our success. Students should be allowed to uh, gain different viewpoints, gain different experiences from different people. So collaboration is very, very important in education. Educators, both teachers and education support professionals cannot possibly do it alone. We need our parents, we need our community members, we need our, our other educators, from administrators to higher education members. We need everyone joining in together. Any decisions made regarding education, we are the teachers, we're the professionals, we're in the classrooms. We want everyone to hear what we have to say. We want to be a part of the conversation. The NEA and the AFT worked very hard to um, get the department to agree to this transformation model because we have seen some success in school transformation. I believe that the work we're about to do is going to transform schools. 
high-performing schools and low-performing schools and everything in between. 25 to 30 percent of all students do not graduate from high school every single year. In 10 years, that's 12 million young Americans who have been kicked out of the American dream. What do we need to do differently to change those statistics? We've done so many great things uh, as an association to uh, help schools improve, to uh, give our members the resources. But I think we have to really step back and say, listen, um, we can't do all this by ourselves. It takes a partnership. And uh, we have to get parent associations involved. We have to get businesses involved and foundations. Because we all may not agree on how to get there, but we all want to get there. There was an award ceremony. And students from all grades, from kindergarten through eighth grade, were getting awards for various accomplishments. 600 people in the auditorium of every color and every nationality, and it, it, was, it was just absolutely beautiful. So I watched this one family um, who was setting up near me after the awards, and they had their little first grader who was in her party dress and her parents did not speak good English, and I saw the father trying to take pictures of the mother, the child, and her siblings. So I tapped him on the shoulder and I said, excuse me, would you like me to take a picture of you with your family? Oh yes, ma'am, oh yes, that would be wonderful. And when I look through that lens, I saw the American dream right before my eyes. It's the audacity to dream that you could create something that has never, ever happened in the United States of America. That in America, we honestly, truthfully, and in practice, created a great public school for every student, no matter where you are. So yeah, let's have the audacity to dream big, to have the courage to act, and the will to make it happen.